shoes this morning. This morning. These are too big. They're from her cousin Catherine. And she has them on the wrong feet and is wearing them very proudly through the house. Oh yeah, we need a tissue. Can you go get a tissue? Good morning guys, it's Anna from Southern Charm. I'm doing just a really quick video because I promised I would do one for this Thursday. Um, about how the ketogenic or ketogenic diet is working for me and I will also go ahead and tell you guys while I'm at it just give you an example of what I eat in a day on this ketogenic diet if you have missed the video where all this started I am presently on a 30-day challenge let's see I'm on day seven eight nine nine day nine of this keto challenge and my weigh-ins are on Monday, so it's day seven of my keto challenge, and that's the weight that we're gonna be going off of. So at my weekly weigh-in two days ago, I weighed three and a half pounds less. So I feel like that's pretty good for a week of dieting. We'll see what this week has in store. I'm hoping for at least two, because that would break the plateau that I usually bounce back and forth on. That would make me very excited. As far as how I'm feeling, they say there is a thing called the keto flu, and I'm kind of feeling the effects of that right now. I've had a regular cold the past little while anyway, but I feel like especially the last few days I've just had not very much energy, and it, it just seems like one of the signs that you are in ketosis, because I've heard a lot of people say, oh, I have so much energy, but other people, it hits, ketosis hits and it's almost like the plague you have to work through and it takes up to three weeks sometimes for people to work through the keto flu so I'm feeling a little bit what but if this pays off it'll be worth it obviously if it pays off it'll be worth it I need some more coffee but as far as what I eat is concerned in the morning I will have a glass of water and two or three eggs like totally drowned in butter that I fry because you're supposed to have a whole lot of fat on this diet and I will also have some tea you saw me making my tea in the intro of this video some people call it bulletproof coffee the recipe that I'm using is for bulletproof coffee but I'm using it with very strong black tea because I don't handle coffee very well so I'm doing it with tea instead it is absolutely delightful and for lunch, I have a very unfortunate habit of skipping lunch. I get too busy. I think other moms can relate. Um, but yeah, I, I get too busy and I skip lunch a lot. So I'll usually have a late afternoon snack after that. And just either lunch meat and cheese with some mayonnaise or sausage and cheese with some mayonnaise. And it's just something that I can grab. Whatever is quick and easy and another cup of tea. I drink quite a lot of tea, actually. I think somewhere way back, I don't know that I can prove it, but somewhere way, way back in my ancestry, there must have been a full-blooded English somebody. I think Ethan's side of the family actually has some English, but that wouldn't affect me. Anyways, I love tea, so it works out well that I'm supposed to have a lot of fat in my diet right now because I also like a lot of cream in my tea. My tea is pretty much white. I've been accused of drinking milk out of a teacup before. So that's working out well. As far as supper goes, normally I'll just have whatever Ethan and the girls are having. And I don't like making two meals for everything. So I'll usually, if I'm making say lasagna for them, I will pull out some of the hamburger and just eat that and maybe do a little bit of a salad with it. You're not supposed to have dressings, at least most dressings, because they have salad in, because <laughs> they have salad in them, because they have sugar in them. So a lot of times I'll use guacamole instead as a dressing, and it just kind of moistens everything up. If not, I will just eat it dry. I may have said this in my other video. I feel like I've said this in my other video. Again, I could use some coffee or some tea or some chocolate, but we're not gonna think about that. If that sounds boring to you, I'm not gonna lie, it really is. But I've decided, you know, it's 30 days. 
and it's gonna be worth it if this diet does what it's supposed to do according to all the stories that I've heard then it's gonna be worth it so I'm just gonna kick it in high gear hang in there stick with it and see what happens in the long run you guys stay tuned I will be posting updates on this diet let's see this is the second one so I've got two more Thursdays left and then we'll be done talking about this diet for a while. If you would like to continue to see how it works, if you're thinking about doing the ketogenic, ketogenic diet, which way are you supposed to say that? Guys, tell me which way I'm supposed to say that in the comments down below. But anyways, um, stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed and you would like to join my crazy, then please click the subscribe button down below this video and also make sure that you click the bell beside the subscribe button or you won't get any notifications of new posts and that would be sad so for now i'm going to sign off very very quickly because i have a lot to do in a very short amount of time as is typical please forgive my scatterbrainedness y'all have a fabulous day